Lately, it feels like every topic or current issue that I come across seems to have the same black and white lens. You can't walk the internet streets without being confronted with this black and white thinking, this notion that all things are either this or that, either good or bad. You're either in this camp or in that camp. Simple, straight down the line thinking. Yet in life, I've found that there's some really big topics that are not black and white or don't have clear divisions. They are gray and diluting them down to one way of thinking to me is a travesty. One of these things that has really been calling to me to be talked about is motherhood. Motherhood is this big life transforming event that happens and there are so many factors that can change or impact the experience of it. The pregnancy, the birth, complications, health of the baby, the health of the mother, the supports after birth, their age, family dynamics, culture, socioeconomic factors, you name it. It is a complex, nuanced journey. Yet none of this was considered in my mind when I became a mother. There was a certain way I was supposed to be a mother, and if I couldn't achieve that, then somehow I wasn't doing it right. I think going into motherhood, I was really naive as to what it was going to be like. All of the language that I had experienced that far in my life was, was so fulfillment driven. A meeting of, oh, this is who I'm supposed to be, and oh, my dreams have come true. After the dust had settled a few years in, there was this profound sense of, what if being a mom isn't all I want to do in life? What if I want more? A perfect mother in my mind would only want to be a mother and that would be enough to sustain me for the rest of my days. Sure, in the beginning, it was all consuming. So the notion of doing anything else was far from my mind. I entered into motherhood with twins. It was an all consuming fire. But after that burned down a little bit, I started to think about what else could there be for me? What else did I want to do? It is only now as I'm entering into my 10th year of motherhood that I've really started to unpack this complexity and nuanced nature of motherhood that I had not considered previously. What could I have let myself off the hook of in the early years if I had been able to process the fact that complications entering into motherhood, like severe morning sickness that lasted my whole pregnancy and landed me in the hospital with dehydration, or life-threatening allergies and asthma in the early days, or just having twins and being so sleep deprived that I wouldn't wake up when they cried. All of these things had a huge impact on my journey that I did not have the time nor the space to process. What if I understood that no one else was going to understand what it was like to be in my shoes? So why did I take on all of their criticism and ideas of what kind of a mother I should be? What if I had, was given the space to realize that motherhood was going to change every aspect of me in ways that I am still unpacking today? Understanding that it was going to alter who I was at a core level, physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally. And most of that was going to happen in unexpected ways and without my awareness half the time. So much well-meaning advice is given when you become a mother, like how to swaddle your child, how to feed your child, the right way to get them to sleep through the night, and if it worked for someone else, then it must work for you. This led to this idea that robbed me of so much joy in my motherhood journey, this idea that motherhood is easy for others because if you struggle, there must be something wrong with you. Oh, sleeping is easy. You just have to swaddle them and then you can't do this or you must do that or whatever, except it doesn't work for you and your child and then what? And then you feel like a bad mom because someone else had the solution and you either couldn't make it work or you couldn't be disciplined enough or whatever. And motherhood has so many facets and seasons and recently going through a new one for me has left me processing a lot of this stuff again. It's caused that notion of what a perfect mother looks like to be challenged yet again. Working from home this summer with my kids off of school has brought on a new set of challenges. This is the first time that I've worked from home while my kids have been home. And I feel very torn. I'm being pulled in two different and very important directions. I love spending time with my kids and I want to make great memories and have this great summer. After all, it's only a short couple of months, but I also have this goal and a passion to want to make an impact with my art and to want to provide a space for the exploration of human connection. I want to explore the way that motherhood impacts women. I want to explore the nuanced way that we enter into motherhood and how that guides our journeys. I want to celebrate the simple yet powerful things that happen when we connect with one another. I want to recognize and honor those who came before, those that raised us, those that changed us. To honor those who raise, who love deeply, and who conquer in the name of others. Yet here I am working from home with my kids for the first time this summer and just trying to stay afloat. 
hearing my kids complain on the days that I have to work, trying to pressure me into not working. I'm feeling constantly like I'm letting them down, struggling on the fun days, and trying to let go of that notion that there are other things that I could be doing that would move me closer to my goals. I'm working all day and crashing into bed exhausted every night, trying to keep up with a never ending list of things that need to be done. Trying to let go of this idea that I can be all things, that my house will be clean, that all the work will be done and it will be done well, and I still have time to take care of myself and my loved ones in the most perfect ways. There are no days off, there is no downtime. There are small moments where I can grab a cup of tea and eat a piece of fruit while I get the chance to reflect and process. But other than that, it's time for the next good thing. I know this will not be forever and that summer is short and the kids will be back in school soon and things will slow down again. But for now, this is where I'm at, struggling with the notion of what a perfect mother would be doing, realizing that she is a myth, a unicorn that does not exist yet finding it hard to not want to be her.